Leon here, the songwriter's mentor. And many, many years ago, it was actually around 1997, I found this in the Microsoft Encarta Encyclopedia. I don't know how many of you remember that, but here's their entry for the musician. In most of the world's societies, musicianship requires talent, special knowledge or training, and effort. And the view is widespread that a successful musical work or performance is difficult to achieve. There is no evidence that superior musical abilities arise in one society or race as opposed to another. Rather, variations in achievement are the result of differences in technology, in the degree of specialization of musicians, and in the value placed on music. Individual talent, however, is recognized among most peoples, and the musical specialist exists everywhere as a true professional in the West, India, the Far East, and Africa, as an informal leader and singer in folk cultures, and as someone who has supernatural power in tribal societies. But if music is regarded as indispensable everywhere, the musician has rarely enjoyed great prestige. In certain early societies in Europe and America, for example, Musicians were regarded as undesirable social deviants. This remains the case in present-day Middle East. In many societies, music is relegated to outsiders, foreigners, or members of religious and ethnic minorities. Many modern social systems, including those in the West, inordinately reward the outstanding star performer but pay little attention to the average musician. Nevertheless, musicianship in most parts of the world requires long periods of concentrated study, extending in the case of European and Indian virtuosos to some 20 years. Now, did you notice the part about how musicians rarely enjoy great prestige? Or, or how about being regarded as undesirable social deviants? Nice, isn't it? Well, actually, the part that caught my attention was how in our social system, the star performer is inordinately rewarded and the average musician virtually ignored. Now, I've known a lot of average musicians. I've performed with them on stage. I've recorded their songs in my studio. And I've listened to them tell me of their dreams and their aspirations. And to me, they are anything but average. I have nothing but admiration for them all. They have a deep love for what they're doing. They are alive with the excitement of creation and performance. Most of them do not care about making it or becoming big stars, you know. Uh, some days they might occasionally daydream about being a famous musician, but for the most part they're content. They go out, they play their songs, they have a following, they have people that love what they do. Some of them make a modest living, playing and teaching music. Others, they hang on to their day jobs. <laughs> there was even a local band in Central Florida when I lived there called Don't Quit Your Day Job. These musicians become what's known in the trade as weekend warriors, but they love what they do. My musical career, my career as the songwriter's mentor, as a record producer, as a, an arranger, a songwriting coach, it's built on working with the so-called average musician. And I've worked with a few musicians that might be considered famous, but there's no real difference between them and the average ones. I also find, personally, that a lot of times I prefer going out to listen to a local musician, somebody who's not necessarily world famous, <laughs> rather than attending a concert by a big name performer. Oh, I occasionally enjoy fighting the crowds paying a lot of money to see a star, but I find great satisfaction in going to hear one of my friends perform and then shaking their hand after the show and telling them, hey, what a, you did a great job. I'm really glad that I came to see you. It's a word of encouragement from me to you that even though society might look upon you and say, you're just an average musician, you're an average songwriter, you're just another person that plays and sings, that's not true. In many people's eyes, you are above average. You're someone special. You're creating something that 
connects with people and moves them and it's something that they remember and cherish. Remember that next time you write a new song, next time you put out a new recording, next time you play a show, there are people out there that really want to hear what you're doing and they really want to support you. Well, thanks for watching. I encourage you to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. If you have any stories about people that you've connected with over the years doing your songs, playing your songs for people, I'd love to hear about it. And if there are any subjects that you would like me to talk about here at the Songwriters Mentor YouTube channel, anything you want to know about in songwriting, recording, or performing, just let me know. You can contact me through Facebook Messenger. You can contact me through the Songwriters Mentor website. I'll leave the link below as I always do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.